You know what this is. This could be a note. It could be a razor. It could be makeup. It could be... The inmates seem to have a little bit better attitude, too. Hi, ladies. I'm great. I'm here in Section 4 land. And you always have your smile on. I'm here to spread sunshine and cheer. You know, I wish I could do that. No matter what the situation is, no matter what somebody says to you, you always... If you just try and have a happy attitude, maybe your time will go by better or faster. It's part of our daily duties do include feeding the inmates. And section four is where we do come into the dangerous part of feeding the inmates. Typically, they're all yelling and screaming because that's how they hear each other. But feeding them... Feeding them can also be dangerous because we have some inmates that are intensive management that we have to use the shield with. The shield, we do the shield with inmates that have a history of sliming, hence the reason Larson just asked for hands. Sliming is where they will throw fecal matter, both urine and, and, and fecal matter, on the officers, or they'll spit on them. You good, Larson? Did you get a hand visual? And we're good? Fishing is where they throw these, this is their fishing line, and they, they tear up state sheets and tie them together and put like envelopes on the end, and then they pull them back into their cell when they get what they want from the other inmate. Whose sheets are these that you're ripping up? Actually, legally, they're mine because I've already paid for it. Give it to me. The Bible for you. Yeah. I don't want you making a new one. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to write you up then. They will um, receive a write-up for this. I would bet that, um, so she's had this charge before. Are you ready? Let's get these out of here so we can get to talk to your fit. Yes. Three Control, can you please open 409? Earlier today, when you were fishing with 402, what, what were you uh, fishing for? What were you trying to get? Um, a Christmas present that we've been working for. We wanted her to see it and get her idea on get what we should do. Her approval? Get her approval. So on the uh, skill level, are you a fairly skilled fisherman or? Yes, I think I got it down now. Here we are inside of um, Women's Maximum Facility. We actually have to come in and do um, cell searches, but um, we can come in at any time and search their cell. And uh, it's not optional, they have to let us search their cell. And we have a camera here and from the control room, we can watch them all day Hard long, every day, and see what they're doing. I wonder what this is. This could be a note. It could be a razor. It could be makeup. It could be... It could be pills. I have no idea of knowing what this is, nor do I know whom it belongs to. However, <clears throat> this was found Right up here underneath the top bunk, it was found <clears throat> right here. And since they are under her top bunk, under her mattress, she will take uh, the blame for them. So we will take our nice little find here and write her up. Sad because these walls become like their home. It's so sad, it really is it's true though. Like me, I was only out on the streets for 10 days and I didn't come back here on purpose, I really honestly didn't. But when you come into a place like this and you live here for so long, it becomes your life and it becomes all you know. I just don't see anything or anybody being worth being people. here. Well, that's because you don't, you don't understand us. But after being behind these walls for so long and like just knowing this, it's like you don't know how to live out there. So you're institutionalized. You get institutionalized. You the inmates get to the point where they actually feel safe here. It's a sad way to live, but it is it is the way that some of these ladies get used to being, and it's a form of institutionalizing. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be alone.